Hey guys, this is Basinger313 here. Apparently there's a pass to increase, uh, increase, ah, wow, somewhere, sorry, my tongue is not cooperating with me a little bit since I have a little bit of a swollen tongue, uh, on the bottom, uh, it's nothing. Uh, I should be able to play through it even though I technically shouldn't be because I'm not in the perfect health to do so, but god damn it, Breath of the Wild is just so addicting. Uh, oh, actually, huh, not the autosave, this one. So, as you can see from the beginning of the video, I'm stuck here. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess this is where we're going to start off, by this, uh, shrine that we're going to go to. And, for this part specifically, I feel like we're just going to go through all the shrines that we unlock, and there's plenty of them, so prepare for a very long episode of Breath of the Wild today. I'm really pumped, I'm, real, I'm, I'm feeling really ready for this. So yeah, and after that, um, to be honest, I can't really want to go to the uh, second village that's, oh, wait, yeah, we can't use the map, so, yeah, you know why we're stuck here, because our fucking Sheikah Slate's been jammed. Uh, I guess, uh, I tried testing it out with the Swire thing to see uh, how we can escape. Uh, we have to wait till nighttime, so, or at least until the wind's gone or something, I don't know. So yeah, the, down here is, like, very bad reception. For the Sheikah Slate, so it's gonna get jammed a lot. Nonetheless, we're not completely lost, so that's good. Also, we're just, while we pass the time, we could just do this uh, dungeon, mini shrine dungeon. Oh, good, it's a puzzle. <laughs> now, my other second plan was to just, like skip most of the uh, combat puzzles, uh, the combat uh, shrines, because they're pretty much the same as always. But Oh my god, I only have 12 arrows. Also, huh. Huh, I guess there's like, reception inside here. Hmm. Oh, whatever. Uh, but yeah, we're almost running out of arrows. Let's make this count then. I don't think that did anything. <laughs> oh, we're running out of shit ton of things. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'll, yeah, we can't hit that thing apparently. Take. Oh, yeah. We got arrow back. Yay. Uh, hello. Hmm. This is one of fire arrows. Right, what do we got? Just screws? Oh, that's it. Lame. Is this just a maze? This might just be a maze. Electrical thing, so. 
Let's see here. Oh, that's... Oh, we can't use it though, okay. Oh, we're back here now. No, we can't. Yeah, okay, so we can't attack you whatsoever. Hmm. Electrical strings. Alright, that thing's powering up that thing. What is that though? Ooh, okay. So, the power source is coming from this electrical thing, and this thing lights up. Uh, although... If we were to remove it, which... I think if I attack it, I might get electrified myself, so that might not be such a good idea. Speaking of which, holy shit, my health. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now I'm prepared. How are we gonna... Oh, just pick it up. Okay. <laughs> um... Can we? Yes, we can. Okay, so... Alright then. We need to somehow make it so that we get up there somehow. The question is, how? Because this, uh, slate only powers up, from what my knowledge, this platform here. Hmm, that's gonna get a little bit... Okay, I think this is as far as we can get it to go. And it's good to get close up too. All right, perfect. Uh, um, let's see. Was there any platforms that we missed out on, or like any uh, energy beam thingy? I think there's. What was that? I just heard like an enemy respawn or something. I think it is. I'm not sure. But oh, yeah. let me check. Nope. The enemy's still dead, so I'm not sure what that's all about. Uh This thing still does nothing. Huh. Oh, okay, I just placed it there, then apparently- Oh, oh, oh treasure! Oh, well, before I do anything. Oh, okay, it just automatically goes from down to bottom to top. Automatically. Alright, so we don't necessarily need to even, like- Ooh, nice. Oh, but I don't have enough, okay. We don't necessarily even need to, like, place on, a, like, an energy pool or whatever, as long as we have something to- I want to get rid of this because I still need this for, like, wood cutting shit. It's probably my weakest one, but like it's a spear, so it's like it has good use. Dang it, this is also a spear, so I could just. Dang it, this is also a spear, so you know what? Fuck it. Fuck the spike bobblin thing. Mm. Well, I'm gonna I probably should take a picture of it. it. It does look like a unique item, so. Just to be on the safe side. Oh, treasure chest. Uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> uh, spike moblin shield. That looks nice, right? Alright. Uh, by the way, I'm kind of tempted into, uh, doing a 100% playthrough, honestly. So, <laughs> that's why I might be a little bit persistent in doing, like, the pictures. If not, at least at the end game, where I'll do it, so. Where I finally beat Gandorf and shit. I think I can handle the other one. Oh my god, one hit from the Shimitar and... Threw it down. Got spring and a screw. Oh hey, another uh, treasure chest. Why not? Is it gonna give me a key or is it gonna be another item? Ooh, an ancient core! I definitely need that. Wait, is it an ancient core or an ancient giant core? I don't remember. Something in order to give it to uh, the lady. I forgot her name, sorry. Right, can I climb up there? Although, I could probably get like a boost from this core, right? Or at least place this next to some sort of core. Then it'll activate. Yeah, that core activates. But, what does that do now? Why oh, did you just push it? <laughs> that works too. <sighs> Anything else I need? Hmm. That looks like progress. Hmm, what's down here? Oh, I 
elevator, okay. But that's an elevator back down there. Is that the same area as I was before? Whoa, this looks new. Oh, there's another, okay, hold on. I may need to carry this back down. Oh, wait, what? There's also another thing here too? Hmm. I changed things a little yeah. bit. All right, let's go down first. I think up might be, I should know, up looks like it. Up looks really empty. I, I can't even see the shrine anywhere, too, so... Unless that white cube... No, that's just the ceiling, what am I saying? Okay, let's go... Either, whatever direction this thing wants us to take. Okay, up it is, so... Yeah, oh, there is a thing that we could do. Alright, what is this for? It energizes that, that, and that. Oh, okay. So that's where we're supposed to go. I see. And... Okay. Looks like there might be a... Nope. It's going this way, I think. Alright then. Perfect. Of course, there's that thing in the way, so we're gonna have to push that all away. Of course, there's also a treasure down there, so we might wanna... Jesus Christ, this place specifically has a lot of treasures. I think that's good enough, right? Yeah, that's good enough. Although, it only gets us here. That will mean there must be something down there further if we want to get it. Let's do that. So, I want to change my sword real quickly because it seems like the Shimitar is a really good item to keep. Anytime now. Alright, yes, I did also change the outfit of my clothes as well, just to... I don't know. Also, that's the wrong clothes I'm wearing. That's only for, like, the coldness if I want to. Usually I wear this clothes so that... I can see the enemy's... Waypoint or whatever. Right. That's no longer energized. <laughs> this thing's just completely stopped. Alright, let's get down there. I think it'll be safe. Yeah, here we save two. Alright. Wait, is this just a waste Oh, this is just backwards. Oh, that's a waste of time then. I didn't need I didn't need that. God damn it. Whoops. I thought there was something down there, but that was just a waste of time. Didn't need to go there at all. Fuck. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to go backtrack very slowly. Just to get up here. Thanks a lot, game, for speaking my curiosity. It looks like a dink when it spins around in circles like that. Alright. Here we go again, on my own. Going down to walk alone, I walk alone. God, that song's stuck in my head ever since Hickory mentioned it. Jesus. The song titles are just... I don't know, for me personally, whenever I try and make songs, it's the hardest thing to come up with. Like. Usually I just say, okay, what's the phrase in the chorus, and there, there's my song title. But, like, I feel like a song title should be a lot more than just whatever's on the chorus. Like, I know there's, like, song titles where not the, the, the title itself is not even in a lyric. So, and I'm not talking about just instrumental song, like, let's see here. Dyer's Eve, like, I haven't, I don't think I've heard Metallica say the phrase Dyer's Eve in any of, in, uh, any of that part of the song. So there's that. One, he said it one, uh, James Hetfield said it once, but that's about it. It's not like in the chorus or anything, so... But regardless, like, it's a very emotional piece to, uh, talk about when a cover comes to, uh, soldiers at war and how they're just completely, like, desolated in their crib. Alright, I don't think the sand dunes is out yet. Let me check just in case. If it's still, like, bad reception, I probably just have to keep, uh, go inside and then, like, fast travel to another shrine that I- Oh! It seems like everything's perfectly fine, right? Oh, perfect. Okay. Um... Is this, uh... That's a stamp I wanted to delete, but there's also a, uh, shrine that we could go to as well here. Uh, by the way, 
uh, discover Gerudo Valley, or the Gerudo Town. Unfortunately, um, from what I've heard, also this is actually a place I could go to for the... I think this is the main quest too, hold on, let me check. Yeah, this is the main quest. Unfortunately, I can't. Hmm. Well, that's fine. Uh, free the Divine Beasts. I think there's just four of them, right? Hold on. Wait, is there another? What the hell? Oh, I really gotta get rid of these stamps that, that are just, like, hidden so closely. Um. Yeah, Free the Divine Beasts. Uh, this is definitely, like, from, uh, trying to get entry into, uh, Getting, freeing the Free Divine Beasts. So it's the main quest storyline. So in essence, this is also a main quest storyline too. So I guess I'm going to go to Gerudo Valley first if I want to continue through the uh, main quest. Because the next one is like the Rito, the Zora, and the Gorons. Yeah, Goron and Zora I didn't even like go to yet. Like I don't think I even visited their town. The Rito on the other hand, uh, I think they're up here somewhere. Yeah, this is the Rito Village. I haven't actually been there too much, but although there was a cutscene that played there. Rito Stable, and there's like a stable there too. Alright, enough of talk of that. Let's... Jesus Christ, how many uh, shrines are left that I have yet to done? That I've unlocked. One. Two. Uh, three. Four. Oh hey, there's Muhammad there. Five, six. Seven. By the way, I marked a boss battle there because it looks like there was like this octopus monster that was on top of this Mount Lineru area. I didn't want to go there because I felt like that might trigger something, so I was like, okay, I shouldn't avoid that. Right, aside from that, most of these uh, stamps are for uh, grinding at the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, grinding at the, oh, I keep forgetting what there's, the stone talon enemies? Yeah. Alright, so, five, six, seven. Uh... 8, 9, 10, 11. By the way, getting to here was a pain in the ass as well because I was dying a <laughs> fire and I thought, oh, okay, I'll just eat my uh, ice thing and I'll be perfectly fine. Nope, <laughs> that still didn't work. Uh, fuck, what number was that? I think it was like 12, 13, 14. Also, is that another stamp? God damn it. Uh, what else is there? Should be very relatively obvious. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. So, around 20. That's enough for, like... Honestly, that's enough for another stamina bar, but I don't think I really need that anymore, do I? I think the fact that I have two is pretty good enough. So, for the next, uh, five... I'm probably just gonna upgrade my hearts. Anyways, let's travel to there. On to the next shrine. So we have 20 more shrines to go through. Oh joy. Alright then, guys. Prepare for a very long, long haul. Mm. It may not sound like I'm lisping a lot, but it is a little hard to, like, talk with any, like, certain syllables, so... I'm trying my best to refrain from doing that. Kinda does sound natural, but mm, it's still like for me personally, I feel like it sounds weird or something. I'm not sure if anyone else has that feeling. Where's the fire? When a wooden weapon or a shield catches on fire, you can extinguish it by unequipping the burning item. Okay. Oh, this looks a puzzle area, right? The whole picture. Okay. Oh my God, is the Gerudo like shrines just uh? Whatever those things are. That's my guess, at least. So yeah, you can't attack them. The whole picture, huh? So this electrical outlet... ...is being powered up by that area and that area. And those two areas, but it seems like we need to connect them somehow. Alright, this looks... ...simple enough? Alright, yeah, we could grab that. What the hell? What's this? We can also grab this if we want to as well, but... Mm. Right. So this is a conductor for any of these. Right? Yes, 
Yes, it is. So it's conducting two different outlets right now. And, wait a minute. Maybe this is also another conductor as well, so if I place this next to here... Or is it next to here? Ow! That bad! Okay. Um... I can always remove the electrical outlet there too, right? No, never mind. Okay, so I could always combine that next to... I guess here. Hold on, I need... Something else touching it, I feel. Mm. Okay, that helps. And now I need something to connect these two. I think I need another barrel. Is there another one? Can't find one anyone right at the moment. Oh, I need to unlock that first. Okay, so... Only then can I unlock the next barrel, I guess. Or the next, uh, cubicle. So... It looks like this one's really relatively easy, too. So, like, connect that to... I guess that. And that... Oh, not yet, at least. Only activates one of them. I think I need to activate two of them in order for it to happen. Which means, in order for that to happen, I would need to. Okay. Let's try. Here. Oh. oh, fuck. One more to the left. There we go. Oh, that would activate that. I think that's how we could carry this thing all the way over here. So yeah, this barrel definitely does have a purpose. And it looks like it's close enough to connect to these two. There's that. I feel like that electrical thing is gonna disappear though once we do this. Yeah, it did. Okay, this one's a lot more complicated than the other puzzles, so I gotta commend Nintendo for that. Uh... Hmm. Let's see here. Okay, those two connect. So I don't necessarily need that at all if this is also a connect conductor. Alright. Um, but now... Is there another barrel? Is that really the only barrel? Hmm. I can't find any other barrels at the moment, so... Looks like that's gonna be the only barrel. Unless... Alright. So that's now full of electric- Oh, I can't! Okay, never mind. So I can't freeze and conduct one at the same time, unfortunately. Hmm. This conductor here feels like it's... Yeah, once I get rid of it from that area, it's completely gone. conducts electricity. I might have to cheat a little bit here, but what happens if I do something like... Yeah. Something like this. It's only a temporary thing, though, so that's a problem. Okay. So it works, but it's only a temporary solution to a bigger issue, I guess. Looks like there should be multiple barrels, but I only see one so far. What the hell? Is there any on top there? I don't see any of them. Hmm. Also, where's the treasure here? 
God, I am honestly. S Wait, what if the bomb can be used as an electrical conductor? No, I can't. Okay, never mind. That won't work. Um. Yeah, I just need to light this area up just for thing, right? Which would mean, no matter what, this thing has to be in the middle. Shit. If I could make it in, push it in there. Come on. Push it in. So yeah. And with that in mind, that will mean we need an, either another cube or more barrels. Like, what the fuck? I must be missing something here. Is that really only one barrel? God, what is this puzzle? Like, holy shit. This one's tough. This is really making my brain scratch. Like, if this is only possible with these two, then it's like... Okay. Oh, there's another barrel there, so... Okay, looks like... Okay, I, th I found a solution, I think. Looks like we have no choice but to actually... I'm focusing on the wrong thing right here. We have to use this barrel to connect that wire to, say, this wire. Oh. Hold on. Actually, no. From that wire to this wire. Oops. Shit. Not a cancel again. B. Right. And then after that... That should be able to connect... Okay. Yeah, so we did need two barrels, just that one of them was locked in, a, in some sort of cage. Alright. Good thing I solved that and explored the area a little bit more. So it is possible with more than just that. Okay. No one has that barrel, that's fine. Um, now of course to unlock this thing. Let's try to work backwards. Okay, so let's move this barrel here. Move this barrel a little bit forward. And I think it's possible. Yeah, it's possible. Just kind of put it there. And. Oh, it's not going to let get that. That should open the treasure chest. Okay, perfect. Alright, so we're done with this side of the room. Ugh. I think that took way longer than it originally needed to be, but... Oh, I want that live bite sword. Hold on. It's 24, which is not necessarily too strong, but it's a levine sword. <laughs> uh, 45. Okay, there. Try boomerang. That's interesting. Uh, maybe I do need more weapon slots just for, like, the unique weapons I can get. I'm keeping these two just for cooking and for, like, sailing. The Royal Habitor looks like it's very strong. 24... I don't think I need this anymore. Well, man, I probably, probably should take a picture of it. Give me the Thunder Sword! Or anything. I gotta remember I have a finite amount of, uh, pictures to take as well. Alright. So that- oops. So that Bokosh thing is going to be locked up forever. Now onto the real puzzle, which I think, in order to fix everything, would require two cubes. So we need to unlock that cube, and by doing that, we have to do this. If it... There we go. And then... Connect that to that, that to that. Huh. They give us a Levine sword. I, I know it's called a lightning sword, but like I just for to keep a draw analogy for King for a uh, Fire Emblem and Le Legend of Zelda, I'm just calling it a Levine sword just because I like that name better. So since it gave us that, this is probably a good idea to use that for this, right? So yeah, probably keep that sword for safekeeping just in case. Alright. So, what do I swipe this? It's still a temporary thing, though. Hold on. 
Yeah, it's only a temporary thing, so I don't think it fully heals or fully conducts. No, there's nothing, it's just a uh, lighting. There's gotta be another way. Do I even need that? Honestly, actually, hold on. Honestly, God, do I actually need that? Where's the second switch? Okay. So, the second switch. Oh no, yeah, I definitely need that because. <gasps> Wait, do I. What? Okay. Tricky now. Okay, so these will conduct that. But the thing is, I would also need to conduct that somewhere too, which I think I just need one more cube and that's about it. But, okay, to unlock that cube. I like that with that. That with that. Is there not a third barrel? Feels like if I had a third barrel, it would be completely possible for me to beat this, but. How am I supposed to do this only? Let's get rid of this and move this around here. Let's see how that goes. Right, so, I'll spark that electricity right there. Yeah, because it would make sense for my leap line to not work because like it needs to have like a whole, not a temporary issue because like if I do that, then it'll be like up, down, instead of fully, the case fully going up. Uh, I don't think I could like bust my way through the cage, can I? Let me out! Let me out! Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. So... Okay, this has to be in here. There's no other option. I think I do need one more barrel, but where the fuck is it? If I have one more barrel, this would be perfect. Wait, what? Oh, no, never mind. I thought I saw something, but it's just the wall. something else. That only would work if it was on the other side. Was there anything else to do on the other side? I don't think so. Yeah, the only thing I need to do left is to open up that cage. But how to do that is the question. <gasps> oh, I have an idea. Maybe. I have an idea. Yeah, that's where the Stasis King comes in, right? That's why I could only use two of them. Alright. So this thing's energized. It's perfect. And this is a different cube, or a different uh, thing in Bobber. Shit. Activate that. What the fuck? Really? That. Ugh. I thought that would work. Hold on, let me try again just in case. Alright, that's energized. Yeah, that should have worked. Damn, okay. Never mind. I thought that because it's in its frozen state, it wasn't easy for me to just work my way around, around like this instead. Maybe I need to work backwards. Maybe I need to freeze this thing. And by doing that, hold on. Oops. So let's try freezing this thing instead and then moving the other barrel. No, it doesn't work like that. I thought it's gonna continue to be electrical. Damn. 
Okay. I thought I was doing something smart for a second, but I guess not. Let's see if there's anything pink. There probably is a third barrel. I can't find it anywhere. I'm not seeing anything so far. Oh! <gasps> Wait! What about the chest? Can I use the chest as an electrical conductor? <laughs> Seems like I might have to. God, this game is just full of trolls. Oh my god! Okay, that works! So, the chest is mandatory! It's one of those things that are like, the chest you have to get mandatory. Weird, but okay. Alright. I think that's good. Wow. Wow. Okay. I'm not sure if there was like any other method though, but that was the method I used. <laughs> Which, wow, okay. It's a little bit tricky to figure out what. So it's not light, does it? Oh, I think I need to push it a little more. There we go. That should do it. Yeah, that should do it. Wow. Wow. That puzzle was a brain muggler. I like it. <laughs> Uh, wait, what? Oh, that's just an orange thing. I thought that was treasure. Ugh, anything I see orange and blue, it's like... It's like, it's the first thing that pops into your mind when you're thinking of this game. Orange and blue, you go after it. Blue is like, completed. Orange is like, oh, you go get it, because that catches your attention. I think it's smart of the game developers to, like, use colors as, like, a basic hint tool, but at the same time, sometimes it could get really mind-boggling, and it's like, oh, you should go there, and it's just nothing. So, I don't know, it could be a win-win-win-lose situation. Mm. I think that's good enough for a one part of a recording session. I'm sorry I'm not going into the, uh... I should know, I said I'm gonna put this all into one part, right? Then again, if I do and the footage fucks up, that's gonna be very bad for me to do so. So for now, I think we should take a quick break. Stay tuned for next episode, and we're gonna go after the Kano Shrine, I guess. I'm just going for the water if there's one that's next to me. Anyway, stay tuned. <laughs>